to my channel if you are new here my name is Caitlin and I am a mom of two I have a six-year-old little girl and this is Benjamin he is exactly four weeks old today so I'm a second time mom I would like to think I know what I'm doing but every baby is so so different it's crazy how different he is than um, our first was all in good ways though all babies are special yes they are um but anyways in today's video I wanted to film an entire night with a newborn video I want to share what our nights look like I find these videos so helpful personally just to see what other moms are doing and not that newborns have routines because it is impossible to have a newborn on a routine. You kind of just have to go with the flow, but we certainly like setting up healthy sleep habits from day one. And by that, I mean dark room, sound machine, swaddling, um, all of that, all of those things. So we've been implementing those every single night and I thought I'd share kind of like what our night times look like. Some nights go really, really good and some nights are harder than others. Just as expected when you have a newborn baby, it usually takes about an hour to get him down to bed. I usually feed him for an hour. Um, we are exclusively breastfeeding, so I just let him nurse to sleep and then I put him down in his bassinet which I'll share with you guys um, like what we use and everything. The past few nights he's been going down and not waking up until like two or three hours. So crossing my fingers that happens tonight as well because for a while it took uh, about three or four times for me to feed him, lay him down in the bassinet and then he'd wake up and cry when I laid him down and then we'd start the whole routine over. So the past few nights we've only had to do that once. <laughs> so really hoping tonight's the same way but we'll see. Last night he was up every two and a half hours on the dot to eat so that means last night I got up with him twice, three times, three times, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> it was all a doozy. So we're just kind of rolling with it, honestly. I know these days are not going to last forever. I know the sleepless nights are not going to last forever. So if you're a new mom and you're in the midst of the sleepless nights like I am, just hang in there. Perspective is truly everything, and this is not going to be forever. They grow up so, so fast, and it looks like he's already <laughs> falling asleep. Um, we've been trying to give him binkies he's not like taking to them a ton but this is the bibs one no this is the frig frig i think it's the same as the bibs um but he seems to like it at night typically at nighttime is when he gets a little bit more fussy i think sometimes they refer to it as the witching hour which his witching hour is nothing compared to our daughter's um his witching hour is very manageable uh, with our first baby, it was a lot harder. Um, maybe it's just because I'm more seasoned and kind of know more of what to do. But usually a binky at night will help us kind of get past that witching hour. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and maybe I'll make some more like routine style videos like this. If you're new here, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe. I share a ton of day in the lifestyle of vlogs on my YouTube channel and occasionally I'll do like routine videos like this as well. It is six o'clock right now, by the way, and I've been trying to start the first nighttime feeding around seven. We just had like a full like hour long feeding um, at five o'clock. So, or he got done around five o'clock. So he should be good until um, like seven o'clock or so, but it looks like he's already, already going to sleep, which is fine. Sometimes he takes like a little cat nap this time of night. Okay, anyways, I'm going to attempt to take this camera one handed and show you what our nighttime setup looks like. I know I've shared this in my day in the life vlogs, but if you are new here and haven't watched my vlogs, um, let me just quickly share so you can 
be aware of what our nighttime looks like. Okay, so here's the deal. Typically at nights, I have the room completely black, but for filming purposes tonight, we're gonna have some soft mood lights happening just so you guys can see what I'm doing. But my number one tip is just to keep the room super dark. We don't turn on the TV. Um, I don't have any kind of light on ever unless I'm using these little red night lights down there. Okay, and then I have this little egg light that I got from Amazon that I use for nighttime feedings and then for diaper changes as well. You just touch the top and it turns on just like that. You can hold it down and it gets brighter, hold it down and it dims, and then double tap and it turns off. So that has been one of my favorite purchases for nighttime feedings. And then also I have this little VTech, um, it's just a sound monitor. The reason I have this in here, because we have like an actual like video monitor, but I didn't want to move that from his crib because we are trying to do a nap a day in the crib. Um, so I just put the sound one in here because sometimes when I put him down to bed, I will leave the room and go like get my daughter ready for bed or sit on my computer and do some work or something. And instead of having to move the other monitor, this one was under $20 off of Amazon and I can hear if he starts crying or something. This is like my little diaper caddy that I restock every night before bed. I have diapers in there, wipes, a burp cloth, and then a gather leather changing mat. And this is so hard to do one handed, but this is the um, hatch rest. Um, that's what it looks like. And it connects to your phone through the app and you can play white noise. So that's what we use for white noise. But anyways, I am just going to let him kind of nap in my arms for a while. Honestly, if I set him down, he's probably going to wake up. So I might just hold him for a little bit. Look at this baby. Daddy's going to hold him so I can grab a quick bite of dinner. Mm -hmm. Don't be a mouth breather. Yeah. There we go. Don't be a mouth breather. <laughs> Don't be a mouth breather. <laughs> Benjamin, Benjamin, close your mouth. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take over so she can get something to eat. And then it is just about time for bed. Was it 6.20? Yeah, usually, well, as soon as he starts, soon as he starts yeah. fussing, I will, will start the nighttime feed. Mm -hmm. First nighttime feed. She obviously has boobs, so. <laughs> She puts him down, feeds him, um, it takes a while, and then I get Scarlett to bed at the mm -hmm. same time. And then after I feed him and get him down, I come out of the room and go tuck her mm -hmm. in, which she's usually in bed by then. Yeah. So. Sometimes. Sometimes not. Yeah. She's been kind of <laughs> staying up later than then. <laughs> what she used to. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead Can you grab my phone that's yeah. on the, so I can turn the sound machine? This is what I do to help because I just grab things while yeah. she's holding the baby. Maybe the cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> so I can take care of this little one. Okay, so here's here's what I'm going to do different. So my cousin is Kara from Taking Care of Babies. She swears by the Ollie Swaddle. We've been using the, what's it called? Uh, chicken wing one. Yeah, it looks like a, it keeps his arms up. The it looks strange being, to me. The nested bean one. She's like, just keep trying the Ollie. So, he's like, mama. Mama. she is like, just keep trying the Ollie because she swears by it. So I'm like, okay, tonight we will give it a shot and I'll see if he sleeps any better than he's been sleeping in the, the, what's it called? Nested bean one. It's okay. So we'll do a little experiment tonight and we'll see if he sleeps better in the nested bean or the Ollie. He's like trying to eat my arm right now. But I'm not going to swaddle him in the ollie until after I feed him on one side so he's more relaxed because he's kind of hard to swaddle. And sometimes you probably have to change his diaper. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to feed him on one side and then swaddle him. Hi, buddy. And he'll be more relaxed. So let's, let's go ahead and just do one diaper change. You tell him to see what you want? Have you talked about your nipple covers? I have. What are they called? The silver nipple cups cover whatever. Scarlet calls them booby caps. Booby caps. They're life They're actual changing. silver. Life changing when you're breastfeeding. They help protect your nips. <laughs> they help a lot. Yeah. I haven't had any cracks or bleeding or Yeah, anything. you haven't had any. We had a lot of issues with Scarlet, but we didn't know what we were doing. They are seriously life changing. I cannot mm -hmm. recommend them enough. 
Um, anyways, I'm going to feed him for however long he takes. Usually this is quite a long feeding um, because I'll nurse him to sleep. It's usually like 45 minutes, if not an hour, not longer. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. It's um, what time is it? 6.42 right now. So we'll see what time he actually goes to sleep for the night. I'll report back. Sometimes I read in my head it's easier to... <laughs> <laughs> You're such a big kid now. You're reading chapter books now? What? Scarlett wanted to come lay with mommy and read her book. First time I fed him, put him down, he woke up as soon as I put him down. And then I fed him a little bit more, put him back down, still woke up. And then the third time I just held him and rocked him and gave him his binky and he finally went to sleep. <laughs> so I do try to sleep when he sleeps um, as much as possible. Um, I just tucked Scarlett into bed and now it's like 8.30 and I'm going to take off my makeup, get myself ready for bed and go to sleep. Try to get as much sleep as possible at night and that means going to sleep when he goes to sleep. Yeah, it looks like we are telling ghost stories at 2 a.m. If we just slept five hours, which has never happened, then like, of course, the night that we we're filming this video, he sleeps the longest stretch he's ever had. Yeah. But I think it's the swaddle, right? Yeah, like he didn't, he didn't like the chicken changed. wing thing like where his it. arms are up. I oh. thought he did. No. It, the only thing we've changed is the swaddle, so apparently it works. I don't know. 
Um, I had to wake him up because I was so engorged. <laughs> so he probably would have slept longer, to be completely honest. Yeah. yeah, it's probably good to wake him up and get him full. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's never gone five hours without him, yeah. too. So that was... Um, I woke up and I'm like, wait, it's what time? <laughs> <laughs> Never happened before. actually right here sleeping or stirring kind of waking up I just nursed him back to sleep but I think I'm waking him up by talking but you guys last night went so so good funny how I decide to film a video like this and it's the first night that he sleeps a long stretch of sleep he's never done that so that was very shocking I really think it was um because of the swaddle come here come here, come here watch out for the baby Watch out for the baby. I mean, that's the only thing we did different was used the Ollie Swaddle instead of the um, Zen one. I forgot what it's called. So that's the only thing I can think of. Or it's just a coincidence. But he did so good last night. I was very, very encouraged when I woke up. I looked at the clock and I was like, wait, it's what time? I actually had to wake him up. He was not awake yet either. So I woke him up and fed him and he went back to sleep and then... He got hiccups at one point, which kind of woke him up, and then as soon as I had, like, fed him and swaddled him and, like, was about to put him back down, he pooped. <laughs> so I had to unswaddle him, change him, you know, the whole routine. But last night went really good. So I do track his sleep on the Huckleberry app. So he finally went down around 8 o'clock, which was good for us, and then he woke up at 1.10, so he slept for 5 hours and 10 minutes, and actually I woke him up. He didn't really wake up. Um, and then he went back to sleep around 2.10 and slept until 4.23 a.m. So that was 2 hours and 13 minutes. 
and then I got him back to sleep by 5.06 and he was up at 7.16 a.m. So that was a stretch of two hours and 10 minutes. Um, and then I kind of just stopped tracking after that because I put him in bed with us after he woke up for the third time and I just nursed him and he kind of like dosed in and off and he's still kind of sleeping but it's like fine if he wakes up now. Um, I think we're kind of past like the nighttime sleep by Indy. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of an insight of what our nights look like, what we do, um, and hopefully it was helpful if you are a new mom or just trying to, you know, establish a routine or something like that. I'd say the biggest things to take away from this video personally, um, if you're trying to get your baby to sleep or you're just trying to set up healthy sleep habits is to, um, number one, keep the room very dark don't turn on lights use like an egg light or something like that to um, just help keep the room dark uh, red lights are also really good because they're non-stimulating swaddling really helps with their reflexes and apparently the ollie swaddle is superior <laughs> it is expensive but apparently it's worth the money too um, i know a lot of people who swear by the ollie swaddle plus it's something you can use forever because you can swaddle them with their arms out and everything so dark room swaddle and then a sound machine some kind of like white noise machine or something those three things really help i i feel like i feel like they really help establish um like healthy sleep habits and they seem to work for us anyways thanks again for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're new here i'd love for you to stick around and hit that red subscribe button down below and we'll see you guys in my next one bye We'll